What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. This is Living in Morris County. Are you thinking about moving to Morristown, New Jersey, but aren't quite sure if it's going to be the right fit for you? Well, today you're in luck because I'm going to be going over the five pros and the five cons of living in Morristown, New Jersey after I lived and worked there for almost a decade. That makes me feel pretty old, but make sure you stay tuned to the end to make sure that it's going to be the right fit for you. Let's go! My name is Kevin Sam, and each week I bring you videos about moving to or living in Morris County and the surrounding areas. So if that's why you came here today, make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell to make sure that you don't miss any of the videos that I'm dropping each and every week. I'm also a licensed real estate agent in the state of New Jersey, so as much as I like making these videos, I would like even more to help you with those real estate needs. So that number popping up below, feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text, I'll be glad to help you out any way that I possibly can. I want to start off today's video by explaining the relationship between Morristown and Morris Township. Now, they're really the same town, but you can think of Morristown as the donut hole and Morris Township as the donut that surrounds the donut hole. Now, Morristown is that downtown area, the field with all the bars, restaurants, and entertainment that draw people to Morristown. Morris Township is more of your residential, houses are a little further spread out, bigger houses, um, and obviously higher price points come with that. So I just wanted to explain that kind of relationship so that when you're searching for a home in these areas, you know the difference between Morristown, the town, and Morris Township, the township. Without further ado, let's get into the pros and cons. I got five pros and five cons for you today. First pro I'm gonna start off with is the nightlife in Morristown. Again, not Morris Township, Morristown. In Morristown, you've got countless restaurants, countless bars, and really a variety of tastes that these places can uh, appeal to. You got your, your classic sports bars, which you can watch the game at, or you've got some really high-end fine dining restaurants where you can you know, end up paying a lot of money for your meal and your drinks. In addition, you've got the Impact Theater. So that's the Mayo Performance Arts Center, and they've got concerts, live music, and they actually pull some like headline names that come through town uh, to put on a show. And one of our favorite things to do when we were living there is you know, go to a restaurant that's literally right next to the Impact. It's called South and Pine. Grab dinner at South and Pine, walk right over to the show, you have an amazing night. There's also the green in the center of town, which is essentially a large traffic circle that has like a little park in the middle. And earlier this summer, we went to the jazz festival, which was on the green, which was just you know live music for anyone that wanted to come. And then you can kind of walk around town, grab some food, come back, sit and listen to the music. And it was free to anyone who wanted to come. The last thing I'll say about the nightlife is that this summer I also planned a bachelor party for my buddy who was getting married in Morristown. We went to 1776, the restaurant. They've got the indoor top golf suite, and we had a blast. And I'm just trying to highlight the fact that I literally planned a bachelor party in the town of Morristown. We didn't go to you know Cabo or Austin, Texas or anything crazy. We literally were able to do a bachelor party and have a lot of fun in Morristown. With that, I would say that a con to living in Morristown is gotta be the traffic. And during rush hour, traffic could be an absolute killer. I remember when I was living there once, I was trying to drive to my buddy's house across the, you know, across town during rush hour, and it probably took me 30 minutes to get there, which is absolutely ridiculous. And while I was driving, I was like, I probably could have walked here in 10, but it took me 30 because of all the traffic. So, traffic can be brutal. You know, once you live here for a while, you kind of figure out the roads that you can that you can kind of bypass some of that traffic. But if you're driving through downtown Morristown during rush hour, like plan on tacking on, you know, 10, 15, sometimes 20 minutes to your ride. The next pro on the list for living in Morristown is gotta be the trains. So there's actually two train stations in Morristown and Morris Township. The one in Morristown is walkable for pretty much anyone that lives in downtown Morristown. And the one in Morris Township is in a section of town called Convent Station. It's kind of in between Morristown and uh, Madison. So a lot of people who are moving to Morristown often have jobs in New York City and they need that train line for their commute. In addition, those who don't have that New York City commute, it's also an added benefit because if you wanna just go into the city to see a show or a sporting event or just go out to dinner, it, having that access to the train line is, is huge. And from really both stations, you're looking at a little bit over an hour to get into New York Penn Station. And when I was living there, uh, we did that pretty often. 
and that was definitely an added benefit. But I would say if you are driving to the train station, I would always prefer to go to common station just because there's more parking options uh, than there are in, in downtown Morristown. A con to counteract that pro, I would say is just the cost of living in Morristown. Uh, it can get a little pricey and you're looking at uh, a median sale price for homes in October of 2022 at about $625,000 in Morristown and then at $731,000 in Morris Township. And I also remember when I was living in Morristown that when I was even just trying to get gas in town, I felt like the gas was like 50 cents a gallon higher in town than it was, you know, on, you know, the highways that surround it or the towns that kind of filter into Morristown. So again, it, it can get a little pricey if you go out to eat all the time or if you're getting your gas in Morristown. Another pro to living in Morristown, New Jersey has got to be this epic combination of access to urban life and also access to country life. And when I was living and working in Morristown, I remember coming home from work and driving three minutes over to Jockey Hollow Park with my TRX straps. I'd go hiking through the woods, strap my TRX straps to a tree, do a quick workout, and then do a little trail run back to my car. And I'm trying to think, like, where else could you do that, you know, as easily as I was able to do in Morristown? In addition, you've got Lewis Morris Park uh, that's also right down the road. It's got some really great uh, mountain biking trails, which are some of the best in the area. Also has access to Patriot's Path, which is a trail system that runs throughout a portion of Morris County as well. And there's tons of other parks that I could name, but for the sake of this video and for time, I'm gonna just kind of skip out on those. But there's also a, a farmer's market in town from spring to fall. Uh, that's right in downtown Morristown. There's multiple town pools. So again, I'm just highlighting the fact that there's like so much to do uh, outdoors and kind of living that country life, but then also with the bars and restaurants scene that you've got in Morristown, there's really something for everyone uh, in town, which I think is one of the coolest things that there is. To kind of counteract that pro, uh, I would say that a con of living in Morristown would be the lack of bike lanes. And I'm an avid cyclist, and when I was living there, it, it kind of gets a little dicey when you're riding your bike around the green, kind of dodging cars. And I was surprised that there wasn't any bike lanes, especially considering the amount of traffic that there is during rush hour, like I had, I had previously mentioned. And there's a ton of construction going on in town as there is right now. And I can only imagine that the congestion and traffic is gonna get worse as the years go on in Morristown. So I just think that adding something like a, a bike lane would not only help with the traffic, but also I know residents complain about people riding bikes and scooters on the sidewalks. That, that might make that situation a little bit safer as well. One of the main pros to living in Morristown has gotta be access to jobs. When you live in Morristown, you have a 10 minute drive or less to the top five employers in Morris County. And that starts with Atlantic Health System, Novartis, Bayer, Barclays and ADP. Now, when I was living in Morristown, I was actually working for the largest employer, which is Atlantic Health System. And when you live in Morristown, there's a lot of doctors, nurses, and support staff that live in town. And another added benefit to living in Morristown is that Morristown Medical Center, a part of Atlantic Health System, is consistently ranked one of the top hospitals in uh, all of the country, let alone the state or let alone the county. And it's actually where um, my son was born last year, and I was born there, my wife was born there, and they saved my life there. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but yeah, great hospital. Um, also consistently ranked as a top place to work. So again, just having access to all those top employers at, at such a convenient location, I think that's another major benefit to living in Morristown. A con to living in Morristown, like I mentioned with those parks before, I live in Randolph and I'm able to walk to like almost every park that there is in Randolph. And in Morristown, it's not really the case. You kind of got to drive and if you're driving through rush hour, it's going to be a little bit and could be a little bit of a headache. So I would say a con to that pro would be uh, just that you have to drive a, a good distance to get to those major parks. They're beautiful, huge parks, but you do have to drive to them. My final pro for today's video is access to top education. Morristown has an A-rated school district, but it also has 
uh, access to some of the top private schools in the county. Just to name a few, you've got Del Barton, uh, Morristown Beard, Villa Walsh, and Assumption. And my final con for today's video would be just the lack of space and being able to easily get that space if you want it. I grew up in the western part of Morris County where there is a lot more space and things are a little bit further spread out, so that's something that I'm kind of drawn towards. But in Morristown, if you're looking for an acre or more, uh, good luck finding it at all. And if you do find it, I think the most recently sold homes that had over an acre were about uh, 1.6 million. Morris Township does have more options for a little bit more land. So if that's something that you're interested in, you might wanna kind of lean towards uh, living in Morris Township versus Morris Town. And again, thanks for watching my video today. Just to remind you, I am a licensed real estate agent in the state of New Jersey, so as much as I like making these videos, I like you more to help you with those real estate needs. So the number popping up below, if you're to give me a call or shoot me a text, I'll be glad to help you out in any way that I possibly can. Till next time, guys, enjoy.